What is up, it's Danger Danger. Welcome back to the Danger Days podcast. How are you guys? What is up? I hope you guys really super liked the Winchester podcast I did last week or whenever it went up. I know this will be the second podcast going up. Actually, it'll be, it'll be number three. It'll be Danger Days number three. Um, what is up, guys? How is it going? Um, I am super stoked to be back in the studio with you guys. I have a lot of interesting news. Um, as you've probably seen from the title and probably the thumbnail, I'm going to talk about the Titanic 2, which has just been announced, the ship, not the movie. We're still holding out. Leo, come through. Um, but I've got some other headlines for you guys, so let's get into it. Alrighty, so let's start off with some headlines. I'm going to start off by breaking all your hearts. I know I was very upset when I heard about this. Um yesterday which would have been november 12th of 2018 marvel creator spider-man x-men hulk thor and so many more the incredible stan lee has passed away at the age of 95 um he will be so greatly missed by millions and millions of his fans and i just personally want to say thank you i grew up with spider-man and i absolutely love x-men and there will never be anybody like stan lee and um However, uh, a little bit of good news in the sad with Stan Lee. He did film his Avengers 4 cameo. So when Avengers 4 comes out, I believe next year, we will get to see uh, Mr. Stan Lee one more time. And I know it's going to break a lot of hearts. Um, this is up there a lot with uh, Carrie Fisher's passing. Ooh, a message. Um, Carrie Fisher's passing for me because both of those were, or Carrie Fisher's was so hard to take. Um, in the theater when they came across but yeah so looking forward to Avengers 4 to see Stanley one more time but once again thank you sir for creating so many characters that people love and you will be missed um we're gonna do a complete 360 here and go to a little bit of a a, a cool headline and an exciting headline for me um being a child of the 90s uh Toy Story 4 released its first trailer yesterday um, I don't know how to describe it. If you haven't seen it, I will link it in the comments or in the description below. Go watch it. Doesn't give away a lot. Um, does leave you with a lot of questions though. Uh, I am so excited. I am totally a Toy Story kid growing up. I still have my original toys. I still have Buzz, Woody, and Jesse, all from when the first two movies came out. Um, totally stoked. Tell me what you think about, um, uh, the trailer, uh, let me know what you think it's trying to tell us. The link is in the description below to watch it. Let me know. That's your homework. And finally, our third headline today um, is um, along the paranormal lines, which is usually what we do here on this podcast, um, is uh, three pilots spotted a UFO over the coast of Kerry, Ireland on Friday. So according to the claims, the pilots spotted multiple glowing objects following each other before vanishing with astronomical speed. There is an audio of the three pilots. One, I believe, was Virgin Airlines. The other one was British Airways. Um, I'm not sure if they ever... Let me look here. I don't think they ever confirmed what the third airline was. Um... But uh, I do have audio from their communications with the Shannon ATC, which is air traffic control, and I will play that for you guys now. Good to uh, come up on our left hand side and then rapidly way to the north. Uh, we saw bright light and then it's just disappeared at a very high speed. I'm sure that it's wondering. We didn't think it was a likely collision course, we're just wondering what that could have been. Meteor or another object making some kind of re entry. Appeared to be multiple objects following the same sort of trajectory, uh, but very bright where we were. Yeah, the Virgin 76 uh, also saw that in our uh, 11 o'clock position, uh, two bright lights. Roger, that's copy, thank you. Glad it wasn't just me. So yeah, so the Shannon ATC or the air traffic control in that area did confirm that there were no military exercises in that area. And the the fact that it was seen by three different pilots um, and they all reported, obviously reported the same thing, but they were from different air um, like airlines uh, that it is being looked into um, right now by the Shannon ATC and the local law enforcement there as to what it was. And that is super weird, right? Like, 
how and it, you can hear it on the audio at the very last the very last pilot says well i'm glad i'm not the only one who's seen it so that's scary i don't know man aliens i love like i love aliens and i hate aliens they terrify me um i think it's just the uh, the thought of the unknown you know not knowing what they know or don't know or what their intentions are but i could not imagine being by myself in an airplane um because when you're that high up in an airplane like ain't nobody gonna help you you know uh, i could not imagine being that high up in an airplane and seeing what i think is a ufo i would probably poop my pants <laughs> um, i would be so scared but yeah so let me know what you guys think um about this story uh do you think it was just do you think it was a ufo do you think it was just a, f a weird light phenomenon do you think there isn't enough evidence let me know in the comments below um I really want you guys to start discussions in the comments below. I think that was so great. I think that would be super, super cool. So now that we've gone through our three headlines, I'm going to get into our main topic, which is the Titanic 2. Okay, so before I confuse anybody, the Titanic 2 is a replica of the original Titanic ship. It is not a sequel to the movie, so if you're looking for that, wrong podcast, sorry. So let's get into it. Earlier this month, an Australian billionaire named Clive Palmer announced the set completion date for the Titanic 2 is going to be 2022. So that's actually not that long. It's not that far away. Um, it's It seems like it, uh, but it's actually not that far. Uh, so anyway, uh, here's a little history lesson for those of you who have been living under a rock or maybe don't know a whole lot about this. Although I do think that with James Cameron's film, Everyone knows what Titanic is. So I'll give you a little bit of a history here. The RMS Titanic was a British passenger liner from the White Star Line, and it infamously sank on April 20, or April 15th of 1912 in the early morning hours after colliding with an iceberg. It became a worldwide phenomenon in 1997 when James Cameron released his film based on the disaster starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Kate Winslet. Um, so that's what the Titanic is. If you don't know what the Titanic is, Go look it up. Go read a book. It is very interesting. Um, it is another one of those things like the Winchester and like the Chernobyl disaster that I obsess over and have books and movies and, you know, PDFs saved on my computer of reports and articles. And it's it's another fascinating thing. I actually think I referenced Titanic in my Chernobyl um, podcast about how much I love it. And then I seen that the Titanic 2 thing came out, and I was like, great, perfect time to talk about it. Um, okay, so back to Titanic 2. Uh, Palmer uh, said that Titanic 2 will be a modern-day replica of the original RMS Titanic with a few things that needed to be improved. Um, and I'll get, a list, I'll get into a list of those improvements here in just a second. Uh, Palmer was the first... Now, or Palmer first announced, sorry, I can't even remember my own handwriting. Palmer first announced the plan for Titanic 2 back in April of 2012, which was when the design phase began. Um, there was a lot of talk on who would design the ship, and ultimately Palmer brought on Titanic expert Steve Hall to design the ship, which personally, I don't think there's anybody else more qualified for the job than Steve Hall. He is by far the single most leading titanic expert ever <laughs> um but i'm so glad they brought him on it really is going to stay true to the ship itself um the titanic has seen launch dates being pushed back and back and back a few times um originally palmer wanted to get the ship done in about two to two and a half years and he slowly but surely began to realize that a, it was a giant task, and B, it was going to take a lot longer than two and a half years. Um, so they keep pushing it back, pushing it back. So hopefully, fingers crossed, 2022 is the last pushback, and it will be here by 2022. Um, the original Titanic took seven years uh, to build. So it's kind of like, okay, well, I don't understand how you could build a seven-year, a, se a ship that took seven years in two and a half years. But to be fair, you know, the, the ship was built back you know in the early 1900s so i i see where he could have you know been like oh we have modern day technology we have you know the bigger workforces we could do that so anyway it's not done <laughs> um it's still kind of in the planning slash building stage i do believe they've built some of it um and i think they're piecing it together which is kind of odd um i would think you would want to build it all in one go but i don't know how ships work 
I'm just reading what I found. So, all right, so anyway, the differences I talked about earlier, here's a list of some of them. Um, the original ship was riveted together, and there's actually, I believe it was one million, or it was either one or three million rivets um, that held the ship together, but it was like an even number. So it was like one million, like that was it. Like it was, there was no like one million and six, like it was just one million um, rivets that held the ship together. And ultimately, I do think that was part of its downfall. Um, the rivets weren't very strong, and that kind of caused some of the the water bursting and stuff. Although I do believe that the Titanic's sinking could have been prevented, but it was inevitable with the technology and the way the ship was built back then. But anyway, the new ship will be welded together. It will be done in a way that will be at the top of the highest safety standards. Uh, another interesting thing that they're doing is they are getting rid of the coal burners, the coal burning per uh, propulsion systems in the bottom of the ship, and they're actually using diesel and electric propulsion systems. Now, this actually clears up a lot of space in the bottom of the boat. Ship, sorry, I know I'm going to get caught for that. Um, it clears up a lot of space in the bottom of the ship, and that is, they're able to make better cabins and better homing rooms for the staff and um, the other workers in the ship. So that is going to be different. They're also adding an, uh, they're adding an, an extra deck, which I found this interesting and I kind of want to see how this works, but they're adding a safety deck for lifeboats, boats, which is obviously, as we know from history, is a good idea. Um, but because of this safety deck, the height above the water line of the ship will be a little different from the original um, ship. And there's just, there's a few little things like that where, you know, they're making an, a, they're trying to make an exact replica, you know, of the ship with a few modern touches. And there's just some things that they have to incorporate now with the new, um, you know, laws and whatnot for ships that, you know, uh, so if the ship was, I'm just going to throw out a number, you know, say the ship was 30 feet, you know, tall, which I don't think that's, that's not very tall, but I don't know how tall that is. But anyway, um, so say the ship was 30 feet tall, you know, the ship is now 42 feet tall because they had to add an extra deck. You know what I mean? Like there's, there's little changes like that, but overall the ship will be a, as close as possible, um, exact replica of the Titanic. Um, there's also going to be, because they took out the, uh, coal burners that just freed up a lot more space on the ship. So they're going to put some emergency staircases in, um, to obviously get rid of the elevators that will that will be on the ship. Um, they'll be on the ship. They're not getting rid of them. But to accommodate for an emergency, they're putting in a lot of extra escape staircases um, just based on the sole fact that this ship in general kind of has a bad history. Um, I'm We'll get into that in a second. I'm, I'm going to give you my thoughts on the Titanic 2 here in a little bit. And then um, the only other update is that the third class... Uh, cabins will be updated a little, giving them a little bit more luxury. Um, third class is uh, a little, little less. It's it's still common today, but I guess back in Titanic, you know, nineteen twelve, third class was like you were poor, and I guess a lot of us now were. I would consider a lot of us now third class. Um, you know, third class is now kind of middle class. I in my eyes, and I might be wrong in other people, but. Um, there's no reason you should be sleeping on like a hard bed and having a bucket to pee in <laughs> if you're paying money to be on Titanic too. So, so yeah, so they're doing some updates to that, um, which is going to be super cool. So, uh, my thoughts on Titanic too, I think it is very interesting. I think it is a very large task. Um, I'm actually really giddy and really excited to see how this plans out. Um, I do not think I would want to go on the maiden voyage of the Titanic 2. Um, it actually, will, when it does its maiden voyage, it will take the exact same route that the Titanic did. I believe it stops over the spot um, where the Titanic sank, and I do believe they were supposed to do a memorial there for that and then continue on to um, the United States. But I would not want to be on that first maiden voyage. Like, I, I wouldn't. Like, if anybody does, like round of applause for you because I could not do it. Um, I would be way too paranoid and too nervous, but that's something that um, Clive Palmer and something that 
the I think it's, it's the blue star line really has to take into consideration because people are going to be very nervous that this this Titanic will have the same fate as the first Titanic. So, yeah, so go ahead and leave me your comments and your thoughts below on the Titanic 2. I think that is super cool. Or on any of the other topics we talked about today. Make sure to like and subscribe to my channel for more podcasts. And I've got a bunch more videos coming for you guys. And until then, I will see you guys later. Peace out, Danger Noodles.